How to fix NTOS KRNL.exe blue screen error in Windows 11? Hello friends, this blue screen error might occur with different bug checks such as critical process died, kernel security check failure, video TDR failure, system thread exception not handled and other. NTOS KRNL.exe is the file name of the Windows NT operating system kernel. So the error might appear for various reasons such as Windows update, conflicts with uh, third party program, corrupted drivers, loose or unfit cables, and other. Follow the steps to fix it. Step 1 is uninstall latest Windows update. If the error started after uh, installing a Windows update, then uninstall the Windows update. For this, click on start, select settings. Click on Windows Update, select Update History, scroll down and click on Uninstall Updates. Find the Windows Update number after installing which the BSOD occurred, click on Uninstall. Again click on Uninstall on the confirmation pop-up. The update will be uninstalled after a couple of restarts. Check if the BSOD is fixed. Step 2 is remove third party programs. If the BSOD appears after installing or updating third party program, then this method is useful for you. Many times the error starts after installing a game or games launcher. In this case, uninstall them. Follow the steps. Right click on start. Select installed apps, VLC media player is a third party application, click on this ellipsis and select uninstall. Again click on uninstall. In the same way find other third party programs and uninstall them. Revo uninstaller is again a third party program. Click on this ellipsis and select uninstall. Here, select uninstall. You can uninstall Adobe programs with the same process. Mozilla Firefox may also cause this error. Uninstall it. Uninstall all the third party programs. So scroll down and find on your computer. After uninstalling, close the settings app and restart your computer. Click on start, select the power icon and click on restart. After restarting, see if the error is fixed. Step 3, remove external devices. Remove any external storage devices and drives, docks, joystick, external mouse and other hardware plugged into your device. Then restart your computer and check if the BSOD is fixed. Next step is fix missing or corrupted files using SFC and DISM utilities. Click on search, type cmd, right click on command prompt, select run as administrator, type sfc space forward slash scan now. Press enter. This is a time taking process. Once hundred percent completed, run these three commands. These are DISM utilities. Copy the first line. Paste into the command prompt and hit enter. Copy the check health command. Paste into the command prompt and hit enter. Then copy the restore health command. Paste into the command prompt 
and press enter. Close the command prompt. Close the other files and apps and restart your computer. If the BSOD still persists, run a full malware scan. Click on search and type Windows Security. Click on Windows Security under Best Match. Click on Virus and Threat Protection. Select the link Scan options. Check the option Full Scan. Note that if Full Scan doesn't work for you, you can choose Microsoft Defender Antivirus of Line Scan. This option is pretty effective in removing virus. After checking full scan, click on scan now. This will take a long time, so wait patiently. Remove overclocking. If any third party overclocking software is installed, uninstall them. We have already discussed about uh, uninstalling an app or software. You can also disable overclocking from control panel, power settings. Click on search. Type control, click on control panel, click on category, select large icons, click on power options, for the chosen plan, click on change plan settings, then click on change advanced power settings. Click on plus before processor power management. Then expand maximum processor state by clicking on plus. Both are 100%. Change them to 99%. For minimum processor state, this is good. Click on apply and click on OK. Close the plan settings window. The next step is run Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool. Click on search, type memory. Click on Windows Memory Diagnostic. Select restart and check for problems recommended. This will restart your system and thoroughly check the RAM of your computer. After checking is completed, you will find the log file in the system tray. Click on this arrow. Here you will find the log file. Check the file and follow the suggestions given by the log. If any methods don't work, then clean install Windows 11. Open a browser. Type Windows 11 download. Press enter. Click on the download Windows 11 link. Click on download now for create Windows 11 installation media. Once downloaded, click on media creation tool.exe. Getting a few things ready. Windows 11 setup window appears. Click on accept on applicable notes and license terms window. English United States edition Windows 11. Click on next. Check the option ISO file. Click on next. 
select the location where ISO file will be saved. Click on save. Once the ISO file is downloaded, right click on it and select mount. After mounting, right click on setup.exe and click on open. Follow the on screen instruction and complete the installation. That's all friends. Thanks for watching the video.